Now, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can identify if your mobile phone is legit or not. And this trick will be useful to you in future whenever you're going to purchase a new phone. You might have come across several videos uh, showing you how you can identify if your phone is fake or original while going to purchase or while using it. But if you haven't watched a video on confirming if phone is original via the email number, then you're still not sure if that phone is original or not. Email number will give you the true result that the phone is original or not. Email number, for those of you who are not aware, simply means International Mobile Equipment Identity. And every phone must have an email number to give it a sense of belonging. If a phone doesn't have an email number, that phone is automatically considered fake. It doesn't have an identity. While some phones can still display the email number, uh, in some circumstances, you might find it is still fake. Because there is a way that some of these manufacturers can manipulate such that even when you dial the codes for checking the email number, you still see the email number being displayed. So what are these codes to check the phone's email number? You simply dial star hash zero six hash. Then you'll see the email information. Now, once you dial this code and you don't see the email number appearing, as I've said, that phone is automatically fake. There's no need for you to go to this next step that I'm about to show you guys. Now, you've dialed the codes, you've seen the email number, probably uh, there's email one, email two. Now, I want you to pick the email one so that you can confirm if this email actually exists, eh? if it's an original email. So once you pick the first 15 digits of the email one, I need you to copy it or write it somewhere. Then head over to your Google, then search for this option, email info. Now, once you select email info, there's a page you'll see displaying there. What you need to do is to input those 15 digits on that page. Then press the option check. Now, once you have verified your human, it will give you the device information. Confirm if the information portrayed eh, aligns with the information that your phone displays. Now, if the information you find there does not align with the information of your phone, then that is a fake phone. Or if it gives you that email number is invalid, that is probably a fake phone. I'm not saying it is automatically fake, but it is probably a fake phone. You'll see the name of the phone and the model of the phone now if your phone is original automatically it will display that it matches with the device information from your side so confirm that now you can do this whenever you go to purchase a new phone make sure you confirm through that code and that site that i've shown you guys so that you don't go home with a fake phone if the phone doesn't give you an email number return it to the seller if the email number doesn't match after confirming to, on the website, return it to the seller. There are other factors you can use to identify a fake phone while still on purchase. Uh, check the camera positions, the buttons positions, check the screen display. You can also test the camera display and take a few pictures with it and Google some of the photos taken with that phone. See if they match. Yeah. And also check the name. You know, some fake phones have names altered, so you can't really tell. But there's a few letters they manipulate. You, you won't know that it has been changed. But the most important one is the one I've shown you through. Checking the email number and confirming if that email number actually exists. And the information matches the information on your device. So that's it for today. For more cool videos and more informative content. Make sure to smash that subscribe button. Jinani R2 Junior. I'll see you. Peace out to